Welcome back to Dredge the Iron Rig DLC. I picked this one up right where I left off last time. And now I'm gonna go pick up my crab trap. I will probably grab that wood in a second, but charge through. Not what I'm looking for. I shall wait. I shall get this dredging done and then come back. But as I said last time, I'm very much looking forward to a couple of new games coming out next this month and next month. Uh, Bucky Squire definitely, Space Marine 2 most definitely. Just thinking. Give this a check, it's been a couple of hours. I love how, t how fast time passes in this game. Oh. Uh, I think I'll head back to, uh, uh, what's it, uh, the shipwright at Mora. And this is the, uh, portal I set up to go to, uh, the, uh, Pale Reach DLC area. There's a, in the quest line there, you can get a reality spike or something, I think I was, I called it. Uh, where basically you just jam it into the water. Where the hell am I going? Uh, jam it into the water, and you can create a callback to that point. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Y'all saw that too, right? What the hell was that? Okay. Now, thinking on it, they might have actually taken a little bit of inspiration from my suggestion for DLC ideas, which was what I called the Advent of the Ancients, which is basically somebody resurrecting a bunch of ancient fish. Which, now I think about it, is fucking terrifying, so I don't know why I suggested that. I very much regret suggesting those, but I'm very glad they listened, because that was awesome, if terrifying. Uh, storage, storage, don't need those. Right, no. uh, I'll hang on to that for later. Keep that, just in case. These are ready to go. Uh, is there another one? That's relatively close. Closer than the other one, so I'll head over there. I'm... Almost... Jesus Christ. Sometimes I love how fast this thing is, sometimes I hate it, because there's almost zero control over it. It gets me where I want to go pretty darn fast, but, uh... Yeah, it just kind of sucks if you want to have any semblance of control, and or any turn radius slightly longer, slightly tinier than, yes, it'll turn eventually. Engines. Almost there. There's the boxes. Excellent. Boxes shall be retrieved. Pants shall be filled by the uh, nightmare spawn I am quite likely to see. I saw that crack. I don't like that crack. Don't do crack, kids. Oop. 
Axial Matron. That looks horrifying. Mouths within mouths, chambers within chambers, the matron's grip is terminal. I hate that. That looks so fucking cool. Hey, sea cucumber. Now get me the fuck out of here. Avoid the goop juice. I do not desire the goop juice. I know it's just like probably oil. Hopefully. Dear God, I hope it's just oil. But you and I both know it's probably not just oil. Oh god, not the not the thing. Not the demon twister. Which sounds like a wrestling move. Okay, uh generator. Yeah, I'd like to sell this absolute abomination of nature and this fiddler crab for some extra cash. Uh, talk to science man. How's it going out there? I have a sea cucumber. It doesn't look like a cucumber. The scientist looks taken aback. He consults some, old, some papers on his desk, then leaves through an old encyclopedia. This is remarkable. Some of these species... Have you caught these before? They haven't been seen outside of the fossil record since... Well, ever. Ah. I suppose it could make sense. The fissure opening caused some kind of disturbance in the deep, possibly spooking some of these fish up to the water column. I'll run some tests on these. The scientist is interrupted by the foreman outside, shouting through his megaphone again. The foreman bellows an order. Engage reverse gear! Get that drill out of there! Oh god, I don't like how many, how many clouds there are. I was fully expecting that to be, like, demolished. Oh god. Is this just gonna affect the areas one by one? Uh. Ah, hell. That's enough. Drill's clear. I repeat, the drill is clear. Shut it down. As I was saying, I'll run some quick tests on these specimens. Though from the sounds of things, you may have some additional samples to gather. It seems the reservoir is more unstable than we anticipated. Even with the drill removed, it appears the fissure is continuing to expand. Unfortunately, there have been reports of some contaminants leaking from the fissure into I in isolated pockets. There is always a chance this might happen. The engineer at the factory has been working on a system to siphon such contaminants from the water. I'd very much like a canister of it. Uh, well, I just have some goop if you want. Straight, dark, splash, whatever the heck this is. Okay, I probably gotta go talk to the Tech Lab, here's a box. Thank you. Everything appears to be in order. I'll get the team onto it. At last, I'm excited to try some of these out. Enhanced lights. Stronger lights lessen the effects of panics and improves light radius. I've already got the biggest one I can get. Oh, okay. Enhanced spyglass can identify fishing spots at a distance of marker on your map. Enhanced foghorns makes your presence known. Pulses to illuminate your surroundings. Is that a, is that like a sonar foghorn? All in stat improvements. Okay. Hmm. That's everything. We'll get to work. Oh, just build it straight on top. I mean, there's not exactly much out you can do. Tech Lab's fully built. Sweet. Rotor reprogrammer. Turning speed. Thank God. Yes, I don't even care. I want that. God, that's better. Bursting gear, chain optimizer, fishing reels. Absorbs excess heat generated by hasted engines. Ooh, very nice. Increases the catch rate. That's what the dark goop stuff's for. Okay, uh, factory. Mm. 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 Yes, here you go. Mm. Let's get to work. Mm. 
The factory's core facilities have been improved. We can make some more items now. Siphon trawler. Oh, just needs a regular trawl net and the iron egg crate. Okay, pretty neat. Uh, found you. Not much for small talk. Let's get on with it. Hmm. I can actually make that. I don't have any more metal stuff. Oh, I oh no, I see improved trawl net. Somehow I doubt that it worked. Okay. okay. Kinda neat to know. Hmm. Uh, factory. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Basic trawl net. Okay. I'm gonna pass out for a while, just until my madness goes away. Perfect. Wikipedia. Leathery skin is all that shields its soft body from predators. Internal structures of calcium offer a satisfying crunch. Who the fuck's eating sea cucumbers? So, okay. Constructs... Oh, constructs siphon trawler. Oh, I actually need that. Okay. Uh, Nautilus, Lilacina, Lancet fish, and Trilobite. Yeah, I think they definitely took inspiration of from uh, my uh, suggestion. Mm. A lot of old fish, the old stuff. Uh, factory. Uh, siphon trawler, Sibu play. Grazie, Amila. Ow. Aww. Alright. Oh, Jesus, no, I do not want to discard that. Remedial apparatus. Equip the siphon trawler. With collection of more solid materials, fish can't be caught in a like this. Well, that's pretty neat. A flotsam trap. Once deployed, this trap expands into a larger formation, capable of gathering, gathering discarded materials. Pretty neat. Uh, what was that supposed to be doing? controller and deployed in the container. Okay. Cabin pursuits. Collect some contaminant. Let's go. I really don't like that crack. This crack's bad for you, and crack is whack. Don't do drugs, kids. Stay in school. Hugs, not drugs. Let's drop it. Get some practice for uh, that oil cleaning game, Spilled, I think it was. Also made by an indie dev, who's living on a boat. Whose uh, Twitter handle I think is Dev on a boat. Which is pretty cool. Jesus, eyeballs! I don't like those eyeballs. Alright, there's the... what's it, boat?
Yeah, I'm gonna take a nap here. Cause I ain't I ain't dealing with that shit. I don't get paid enough to deal with that shit. What do I got? Do I have a canister of ooze? Where is oh dark canister? Uh, inside the glass, a thick fluid shifts, chilling the air around it. It morphs as it sloshes around, forming smooth streaks broken by sharp clusters. I hate that. I hate that a lot. I vehemently dislike that. So I'm probably going to have to go and actually clean up all of the goop spots. Yep, I'm on my way. I'm on my way to the spot that I have to go because I was told to and I accidentally fucked up the environment by letting them get stuff drilling, even though it's the entire point of the... DLC, but I hate fucking up the oceanic environment. I was raised in Florida. This sit does not sit well with me. Oceanic. Fuck, I don't have a right. You, Goopmeister. Fuck. You? Hey, I can fish here. Fuck. Lancet fish. With its impressively tall dorsal fin and razor sharp fangs, this ambush predator stalks unsuspecting prey in the open water. Come on, if you're gonna burst, burst. Don't just tease me. Boing. Lancet fish. Hang on a second. Did that say five feet three inches? Is that how long a lancet fish is? I'm actually looking that up right now because that's fucking terrifying. Lancet fish. Lancet fish can be grow to over seven can grow to be over seven feet long, making them one of the largest deep sea fish. They are elongated and slender with a large mouth and fang-like teeth. Jesus Christ, I would not want to meet one of those in the open water. Or just, period. Thinking on it, I probably should have gotten some of the better fishing equipment from the Iron Haven people. Hello. This little... Ah, what the hell are you? Solacina, a distant relative of modern sea cucumbers and urchins, this spider-like creature crawls along the seafloor searching for food. Two foot five inches. Solacina, what other things did I need? Uh, not that. I needed uh, Nautilus, Solacina, Lancet Fish, and Trilobite. Somehow I get the feeling those are probably some of the. That's actually not one of the things. But amazingly. Just gotta try to avoid uh, Gary if he's here. I think I named him Gary. Might have been Jerry. Mm. <laughs> Oh, that's the Nautilus, but I can't do Oceanic yet. Hunger Eel. And sadly... Nothing else back here. Jesus. Fuck it. Warping. Teleportation. to use this.
pressing X for some reason. Still got Warframe on the mind. That's what I've been playing for a while. Okay. Rest for the night, then head back and make sure I have better equipment. You know, some of the rocks just appear there because you're crazy, and if you run into them, they're for some reason actually damage you. Ugh. I love the soundtrack for this game. It's so peaceful. In stark contrast to the story of the game. Alright, Doc. Got some weird shit for you. Oh, canister. Have you collected a canister that contaminated you? I have. Freaks me out. He holds it up to the light. For a moment, the fluorescent bulbs in the room flicker and buzz, light recoiling in a pattern against the ceiling. Ah. Thank you. It's always important to know what we're dealing with in our operations such as these. Okay, this is just completely and utterly wild fucking speculation, with no basis in any sort of facts other than gut feeling. I don't like how much yellow is going on here, so I'm thinking Hastur has something to do with this. I have no basis for my theory other than gut feeling and the color yellow. And this guy's a cultist of some sort. If he saw anything noteworthy about the liquid, he doesn't let on. Oh, and don't forget about that other thing I asked you to do. Have you had the time to gather the samples from Gale Clips? I got two of them. This one I'm going to go sell. Yeah, slightly bigger. Uh, I do not have the trilobite. That's a crab. And Nautilus, which is oceanic. Factory. Ah. Yes. Used winch. Storage. I need a dark canister, iron haven crate, and a fathomless winch. If I have a fathomless winch. So oh, let's use that. Do not have a dark canister though. I probably I can get one of those. I need to reinstall this to my thing. Take up my whole day. And the iron haven crate. I'll be back. Mm. Okay, this infused stuff is nice because it actually is like genuinely better than most of the stuff. Mm. Where is that tech ah. fabric? That's lights. Ah. Oh shit, I already used my thing. Closest patch of goos right over there. Uh, I am not even remotely pointed to the right way. There we go. This way to more goop. Goop, build the thing, head back, drop a crab trap. Actually, pick up my crab trap while I'm here, because I probably should do that, since I don't need it here anymore, and it's probably already destroyed at this point, but I can always get it repaired. Because there is, in fact, a wandering merchant lady right there. Yeah, this thing's fucking demolished. Oh, I got another sea cucumber. Pick all, and pick it up. 
suction time. gonna clear this whole patch. Oh, if I could slow down my fucking boat enough to actually make it into spots. Oh shit. I see ya. to a cleanup. Almost done. Shall not stand for even a scrap left. This is honestly kind of fun. It'd be a lot easier if my boat was slower, but I'm enjoying myself. I guess I only need to clean up, you know, X amount of it before it just disappears. That's kind of nice. How many do I have? Just one. Okay. Okay, just because that sounds a little annoying. I'm gonna get the second one and then just call it. I don't know why this is so addicting. I just like cleaning things. Not in real life, though. In real life, though, I'm, I'm horrible at remembering to clean stuff. Like, even if it's something that takes, like, five minutes or ten minutes even, just, like, something like, you know, just cleaning the bathroom on a super regular basis, I just hate doing it. I know it doesn't take all that long. It's really not that difficult. It takes 20 minutes to clean properly, if at the absolute most. But I just... I'm just really bad at remembering to do it. But this... Relaxes me. Probably one of the reasons why I like uh, Power Wash Simulator so much. Very good game. Okay, now time to run for my life. As soon as I cut this next. There we go. Thank 
get slow. Don't slam into a rock. There we go. I'm going to use up all of the fuel in my boat, leaving that siphon running all night. Okay, that's one cleaned up. I'm almost a certain there's going to be an achievement for clean up all of the goop. Not that I can see. Never mind. Unless it's one of the hidden achievements, but I don't know. It's a whale! Is that a... what is that? It doesn't look like a blue whale. It's a little small. Right whale, maybe? I'm not quite sure what that is. Any any whale experts in the uh, comments, please let me know what kind of whale that is. Mm. Not even close. Okay, factory. Mm. Winch. Confused hoist. Oh shit. Away you go. What did this do again? Oh, that just massively increases my fishing speed. What do I got in storage? Uh, versatile rod. Uh, Anti-tangle line. Uh, glacial lance. Hmm. Custom rod, that was the uh, pre order bonus. Rods. Oh, that was the other thing. Discard. actually work. Oh shit it does. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I imagine it's probably gonna be some engines. Yeah. Um, and wow. generator. Thank you, thank you. I actually no can't actually sell that damn it. It's a fool. Ruin. That was another deal. That was another pre-order bonus. This I just got some more else. That's nice. I don't think I actually need it now, though. It does increase my fishing speed a little bit, but you know, not really necessary. Uh. Ah. Hmm. Okay. Fused hoist. So I'm all good for that. See the higher tier stuff. All right. Um, I will probably call this episode here because this is getting a little long, even for me, and I don't really feel like going through editing and cutting stuff down. So I'll head to over to there and get that done in the next episode. 
uh, which I might need to do tomorrow because I'm going to have to get started on dinner pretty soon. Doing chicken parm tonight, which I'm very excited about because I love chicken parm. Zoop! Where the hell am I facing? There the hell am I facing. I'm gonna dock here, sleep for the night, then come back. I will see you all in the next episode. I will try to get the rest of the DLC finished tomorrow. Um, as I don't really have any big plans for tomorrow, so you know, might as well do something. Uh, but uh, thank you all for tuning in, and I will see you all in the next episode, as soon as I am done making it. Goodbye.